Here's the Patton Heater Plus fan. And this is the console whole room heater plus fan. So this is one that they made to look like it actually belongs inside your house and not in the garage. Uh, it's got the wood accent. And the sleek black guard. Black display with the thermostat, fan mode, and three heat settings, and those are 500 watts for one, two is 1,000, and three is 1,500. So I picked this up for, I think, 18 bucks. That's what I paid for this. And part of the reason why I bought it is because it came with the original box. And uh, I've been more entertained with the box than I have the fan, really. I've been kind of captivated by the photography on the box. So let's take a look at this. You've got, uh, you know, so just some of the stuff that they're saying about the fan here. Heats an entire room, blah, blah, blah. You've got the Patton logo. Free uh, clean air filter included. Here's that unopened. So I think the original owner must have... Uh, come to the same conclusion that I did that this is basically useless um, But let's check this out. So let's look at our uh, Primary marketing demographic here We've got the suburban middle-class Caucasian nuclear family um the action in the scene here seems to be centered around the boy who is looks to be like he's in a high stakes game of Oregon Trail or um, Odell Lake maybe. Those are like the only two games that I remember from Apple computers back then. We didn't have uh, this family here is a little further up the economic, socio-economic socio ladder than my family was. We didn't have a, a computer at home in the 80s. But uh, in any case, so the boy's playing the game there, and then you've got a sister there, and she's just kind of in a supportive role, smiling, staying out of the way. And then you've got dad back here, striking a power pose and he's got his sleeves rolled up there just made himself a cocktail uh, he's got like the tom Selleck mustache going on and uh you know the boy's got his hands on the controls there but dad's clearly in charge and then you've got mom over here enjoying some leisurely reading material after a long, hard day of straightening all of the couch pillows, there's got to be like 15 pillows on that couch. That's insanity. And nobody else is allowed on the couch except her. And you know that if Dad just hopped over the back of the couch and bounced about three or four of those pillows onto the floor, there would be hell to pay. And you've got... Mom and, and sister wearing matching polo sweaters with the collared undershirts and, and white pants. And then you've got the heater on the floor on the shag carpeting, which I can't say that I would do that, but this is the 80s. And, of course, the wood on the heater matches the table and various other parts of the room closet doors there so yeah quintessential 80s marketing you gotta love it pretty cool box and there's more there's actually more so what do we got here more uh, mumbo jumbo 
I don't care about. Oh, there's a model number. HF-20W. Yeah. Any, anyway. So here's mom again. And in this picture, she's not really making the bed. Doesn't really seem like she's moving at all. It kind of just looks like she's uh, hunched over there, standing still, warming her buttocks before she slides into bed. Over here, here she is. She's got her hair highlighted this time and put on some heavy makeup for ironing day. And she's got the fan over here mounted on the wall, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I probably wouldn't put the fan on the wall there, but then again, this is the 80s we're talking about here. It was just a simpler time. Not so much to worry about. House fires, etc. Down here, we've got just right for direct cooling or refreshing air circulation. So they're cooling off on the floor here putting together a puzzle on shag carpeting. And if you look close, I don't know if it's going to clear up or not, but that's a 200-piece Transformers puzzle. So that's cool. And then here we have air cleaning year-round. That's with, with this thing. Remove smoke, pollen, dust, and odors from the air. Use all year round on your heater plus fan while heating or with fan only setting. So this is going to last you all year. Presumably with the ashtray and cigarette next to it. And you know that when the smoke goes through the back of the filter through the fan, it's still smoke when it comes out the front. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using this anytime ever, but I'll hang on to it. I'll keep it in the box. What else do we have? Five-year warranty made in the USA. Got some numbers there that mean nothing to me. Here's patents pending 1987. Patent Electric Company. New Haven, Indiana. So, cool box. Big part of the reason why I bought this fan. Now, let's see. Let's see what else we got. There's the back. Is that the same image of the song? Yeah, they've got the same Im image on the front and back. So here's the other side. And I kind of wish that they would have just put more photos of the models on this side of the box, but whatever. This is just kind of the basic functions. So, yeah. Cool box. Pretty cool fan. And this is kind of a luxury um deluxe model of the regular heater plus fan which would be about the size of the front grill here only like in a cube shape and then you would have the same two dials here but they would be on the top and they would be recessed into the top of the fan so this one is made to kind of go along with your your TV and TV stand and stereo and and kind of blend into the rest of the uh, wood accented stuff that was in every household in the late 70s and in the 80s not a bad idea but poorly executed in my opinion if you go to uh, try to find this fan for sale you're probably not going to find any you're not going to find very many compared to the regular heater plus fan. Um, and that's because this front grill piece that is basically what the, the standard 
heater plus fan is, is made out of. That's the most durable piece on the whole fan. This other stuff here, this this wood stuff and this display here and the whole basically, the, I think the base and the whole rest of the fan is, is pretty flimsy material. I would say if I knock that thing off the shelf right now, there's a 100% chance that something is going to break on it and a 50% chance that it's going to break permanently. So I think that's probably a big reason why these are hard to find because a lot of them are probably knocked off of a shelf or a table or something and broken. And you don't see that with the with the standard ones because they're made almost entirely out of this more durable plastic material. So they said there's a handle on the back here, but it's really just kind of a spot that your fingers fit about halfway into. I wouldn't really call it a handle so much. Here's the patent label information. Here's a spot where your filter would fit into. It would go something like this the arrows it should snap into place there and I wonder if there's some hardware missing on this mounting hardware because I can't really figure out how she would have mounted the fan onto the wall like that I don't know it almost seems like there's something some pieces missing I don't know but I really appreciate that um, the original owners of this decided to keep the box. And although the fan was totally filthy, uh, filled with dust, and it took me quite a while to get this thing cleaned up. Uh, got in there and oiled the bearings and blew all the dust and stuff out of it and washed the guards and and everything. It was pretty filthy, but they were decent enough to keep the box and store the fan in there. So let's look at the settings here. You've got fan. So here's the fan, the cooling fan, keep you cool in the summer. And I don't know if you imagine your most lackluster six inch desk fan and then turn it on low. That's pretty much what this is putting out. And I could imagine that it would be much less had I put the filter in there. So here's the 500 watt. And it's not like you can feel the heat coming off of this thing, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that but it's warm somewhat warm i'm on the back porch right now and it's pretty cold out here so that actually feels pretty good you turn it up to 1000 and gets a little bit warmer the smell has gone away now first time when i ran this earlier and i turned the heat on i was afraid that i was going to set off the smoke alarms just because the smell of the dust and stuff burning off the coils was so bad. I just I let it run on, on the high heat setting for a while and it seems to have cleared up now. I don't smell it anymore, so that's good. Here's the third setting. Warms up a little more. It doesn't get real hot. It would probably heat up more if I did have the filter in there the air would have more time I think to heat up before before it came out of there but then you would also I think you would barely feel it so I plan on just running it without the without the filter I don't know if that filter would be any good anyway it's got some holes in, in the bag and with as, as much dust that was in there and everything I don't know if this 35 year old filter is still any good. 
don't know, I don't really want to try it. It was louder before I uh, took it apart and cleaned it and oiled the bearings and everything. It seemed like the fan was was a bit louder. It seems like it quieted down some. It is getting warmer in here, though. Okay, we're uh, just on the small back porch here. It's warming up a little bit. So it's a pretty good heater. It's a pretty good little heater plus fan. The only drawbacks is that I could see are that basically everything except the the front and the rear grill are uh, not durable at all. Like I said, it looks like somebody somebody already dropped it or did something to it. You can see it's already kind of separated in the corner there. And I want to say that there's a broken piece on the back here too. See that, but there's a broken slat right here. I can probably glue that back in the place. I should probably do that actually before it comes out all the way. But yeah, as far as function goes, it's a good fan, good heater. It gets pretty warm. It blows the heat out, does what it's supposed to do, and it looks decent. You know, for the fake, uh, cheap wood accent material, it, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look as cool as it does on the box. You know, in, in the room with these guys. But, it looks better than those little, uh, what do they call them, milk house heaters, the little the little metal ones. This is way cooler than those. Yeah, so 1987. Patton heater plus fan. Console whole room plus fan. Thermostat and safety light. Thermostat works too. Thank you for watching.